hello beginners this is a demonstration of how electrical installation is done from the electric pole to the residential building distribution board as you can see the life wires from the electric poles are represented with the red wire, red lines and the black wire is represented the neutral is represented with this black wire as you can see these are the poles these are three poles the pole the, the electric installation wire comes from the comes from the pole to the cut out physics as you can see here these are four in number these are 100 amps the amperage capacity of a cut out fuse choosing a cut out fuse depends on the lows the things that you are going to be using in the house you should know that the more powerful a machine is the more it consumes electricity and the more the higher rating of of the accessories you are going to use for installation if you have a bungalow and you are using maybe two washing machines or two ACs or you have a story building and you are not using a lot of things that consume power you can use a hundred amps fuse but if you are going to have a lot of AC conditioning a lot of washing machine a lot of water heater you can you upgrade to 200 amps for this demonstration we use a hundred amps fuse cut out fuse four in number before the the cut out fuses used to be plastic but today there are ceramic cut out fuses the advantage of ceramic cut out fuses is that they don't understand they don't get heat and melt unlike the the, 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 the plastic cut out fuse which can get heated easily and it melt away thereby causing fire in the house so assume these are four ceramic cut out fuses of 100 amps you see the first life wire comes this fuse has four terminals two terminals at the bottom two terminals at the top the two terminals are not in connected together this is the fuse this and this cut fuses are not connected as you can see here this is the fuse to connect them so when you when you connect when you when you plug this fuse here the two terminal the the top and bottom terminals become connected as you can see these four terminals are all these two terminals are all are linked together so you can put your wire either here or here but top and bottom are not interconnected so when you put the cut out fuse here they become connected as you can see the first wire the first life wire goes to the goes to the first cut out fuse the second life wire goes to the second cut out fuse the third life wire goes to the third cut out fuse you have with this you have brought all the 
all the all the three faces down here to your residential building but in your residential building you are going to use only one face because you are going to use only one face in your residential building what you have to do is from the top of the cut out fuses you make a loop you loop the three three life wires together then from any one of them you take another you take a wire to the distribution board this is also a three phase distribution board this is the main switch the main switch has three terminals one two three you also loop the three terminals together then there is a copper rail here that has screws where all the neutral wires will come there is also a copper rail here that has openings for screws where you put all the eight wires we come here this also is a demonstration of the circuit breakers as you can see the life wires every circuit from every circuit we come here as you can see this circuit is these circuit breakers have a switch in them as you can see this is label 10 amps this is 30 amps this is 20 amps this is 5 amps 10 amps and 5 amps are good for for lightning points 20 amps or 25 amps can be used for the socket 13 amp socket for the 15 amp socket for air conditioning or washing machine you use 30 amps fuse or 35 amps fuse this amperage capacity rating when you are using something that consumes a lot of electricity you use uh, a circuit breaker of higher ampacity the essence of these circuit breakers that are used to separate every circuit in the house is the, the 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 installation that comes to this 10 amps fuse might have a fault if they have a fault all these ones will still be working so if you don't loop these three together and bring wire from the cut out fuse down here what it will do is some circuits will be working and some will not be working So this is also 100 amps distribution board distribution board also have its own amperage capacity depending on the loads you are going to use in the house so i hope this diagram will help a beginner a beginner in electrical installation understand the process from the electric pole the three faces will come down to the three cutout fuses and you only put one fuse you don't put the three together if you put the three together you join all the three circuit you join all the three lines three phases and it's going to cause a disaster it's like short circuit the three phases are not meant to join together you will use one face at a time that is why you put only one cutout fuse and the neutral cut out fuse this is the neutral the last the last cable the last cable down here is the neutral cable so you you bring it down and from the top you take a wire down to the down to the uh, uh, to the copper rail that has a lot of screws where all the neutral wires come to and this is the earth this one you connect a wire that will be buried in the ground I hope this video will help a beginner in electrical installation 
as you can see this last wire cable here is the neutral cable it comes down to this cutout fuse since you are using one single face don't ever put all the three fuses together you keep you remove these fuses from these two in case if there is a low voltage from one line if this line is having a low voltage you can remove the fuse from here and try the second line if the second line is having a low voltage you can remove it and try the third line so the essence of dropping all the cables all the three faces here is for you to choose one face at a time because in a transformer there is sometimes one face of the transformer has low voltage and you can see that from the the brightness of your bulb your lightning bulb sometimes when there is electricity in the house the lightning bulb will be not be so bright you know that you have in low voltage and you come here you take out this fuse and place in the second fuse box this is the demonstration of electrical installation from the electric pole to the cut out fuses to the distribution board this demonstration is for beginners beginners who are beginners in electrical installation for you to understand how it is done I will be posting more and more videos so if you keep in touch and keep watching my videos you understand electrical installation but before you before you practice on your own make sure you are guided by somebody who is a specialist a good technician to guide you but with this when you go to installation site it makes you understand faster than somebody who have not idea of this demonstration subscribe to this youtube channel like the videos and if you are passionate about electrical installation you are going to be a great electrician by watching our videos begin electric begin electric is our youtube name subscribe to our channel for more updates